quote I have is the character is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. And uh, I think that really pertains to our program. It pertains to my life and uh, the crazy things that brought me here. And uh, knowing that I have some empathy for the young boys that I am working with, knowing that they are going to make tons of mistakes and that we have to really instill that this character, you know, when nobody's around is what it's about. How are you going to imagine yourself in a situation where you can make the right decision when nobody else is around? And, um, you know, that I think that's a, a great thing to look at. And also it's really come a long way with my program at uh, Abraham Lincoln High School in San Francisco. It's, you know, it's what we're about, you know. Uh, All right, Coach, so we, you talked about, you know, the process, and I, I think that's important also, but could you talk a little bit about the process, you guys, some of the things you do at your place at, at, at Lincoln High in, in the city to, uh, to get the kids on track? Well, you know, if you're not at practice on time, ready to go, you've got extra condition. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who you are. If you have a note, it doesn't matter. Because we have to make sure everybody's accountable at the same time. And we're accountable. My coaches, I'm accountable to them in the regard of, hey, you better have that drill set up. I don't want my boys sitting around. I want them working. Mm -hmm. I want to have a good, hearty practice so we can move along and get these kids knowing that when they're on this field, it's 100% for everybody. You put everything away. This is a great thing that they get to do together. And a lot of them will never, ever do again after high school. And they're able to do that together and hold each other bull to a higher standard. I mean – we have been fortunate. We've we've grown a program. We've had some great athletes in our program, and you know we've had some great teams that necessarily didn't win, but they were great teams. They still hang out together. They built the program. The process of Lincoln football was those young men who bought into what we talked about, and the process being, you know, making sure you're on time, making sure you do those reps correctly, making sure that. You know, you're not dogging, or if you're a leader, you're you're making that lead. You're trying your best. And we always talk about, let's not worry about the result. Let's worry about how we do things. And if we handle our business with integrity and do the right things, good things will happen. And we can always look back, even if we lose, we can always look back and say, all right, we did our best. And that's the key. That is so key at our place, you know, that we have really shifted you know, not shifted. I mean, you always when you're early and you're trying to build a program, you got to get wins. I understand that, you know, but I've always thought about it. I've tried to kept, and I, and I knew that once we started getting good, I, we had to, you know, kind of tone it down a little bit about the wins because it's about, we found out it's so much more enjoyable to see these kids bond together and see them take their leadership roles amongst themselves and become leaders, you know, and help us, you know, you know become pretty successful. Cool. Very good. I had a kid who came from very bad circumstances. Uh, he ended up living with me for about a year. And, you know, took him into my home. Was with my family. And uh, he, uh, he showed some signs of, you know, before that, that he, you know, might not be the greatest guy. Might not have that great integrity. And I was able to leave him home at my house without any worries about anything. And this kid really showed me to open my heart to a young boy who, you know, had some problems and needed some guidance. And really rest assured of my family that, you know, it wasn't going to be a problem. And his ability to, you know, be that guy and to have us, you know, be there for him really showed and helped him to become a man and you know he's he's not struggling as much as he, as he as he was before it's always going to be a struggle for him but he he does do the right thing and i really respect him for that and i think that was a great lesson to, to learn from for me and and him and my family and just the family that we have at school and that's what we try and account for is you know making it a family yeah one second Hi, Coach. So 
we're talking now about you know why why the why is the quote relevant to you in in, in uh, you know the words uh, of others you know fueling your inspiration? Uh, because um, at a time when I was younger, I wasn't very integrity. I didn't have much integrity. I'd do anything to do anything. I was out of control. And once my life came together, I found integrity was a great motivator for me to, be, to become the man I am today. And I'm not perfect, but I do strive for perfection. And sometimes excellence does come, but I'm still, I always believe in the process and the process of accountability in the regard of, you know, every day giving my best and showing the kids that we do our best, whatever happens, and not being too determined about the end result, knowing that the process will bring us together. It's that process and trying to build that within our young men in where we don't have to be so hands-on, where they can, uh, you know, be able to do their workouts with each other and push each other and, and make sure they're on task and make sure that, you know, they have the integrity and the ability to do things correctly when we ask them to do them, even when we're not around. Because the school will tell us. You know, I'll get calls if a kid's screwing up. Now, those calls have, have lessened, mm -hmm. and that's cool. You know what I mean? But as always, you know, there's that saint and sinner line, you know, that, that, that kids grow up with, that young men have. Mm -hmm. They want to be the saint, and they also can be the sinner. And uh, to kind of, you know, I think this is a great one. You know, the character is doing the right thing, and nobody's talking. We've used this. Nobody's looking. I mean, we've used this over the last couple of years to really hand it home that, hey, you've got to be great everywhere, you know, in your character, not in your performance. It's great about your moral character, about how you treat people and how you are perceived and how you put out what you want to be. And we, we truly believe that. And I think this quote really helps because, you know, we have some kids who have some quality problems and, and you know, they come from different backgrounds and socioeconomic things. Cool. So, Coach, it's, it's one of these, these questions that I think every coach wants to know, in your opinion, you know, you've been at it for a very long time and, and been very successful. So uh, what, what do you think motivates kids? What, what, you know, you've talked a ton about integrity and, and doing the right thing. I think that, you know, those are, those are you've nailed it. But what do you think gets kids going nowadays? Um, nowadays, it's harder than we've had it in the past. I mean, you know, we've come from a society that was – mostly able to run up and down the streets all day and play ball. Now we've got kids who've never done that. And then they've also, you know, there's a different dynamic of kids nowadays. They're sedentary, you know. So the, I think the most thing that motivates them is something, it's the game, the game of football, right? And they don't realize, they, they first start out and think that the game of football, I'm going to play, I'm going to be a star, right? Then, when they start through the process and getting going, they figure out their roles. They, they deal with the, the losses. They deal with their inade inadequate performance. And they deal with the coaches trying to push them past perfection or, or to perfection. And uh, I really believe that uh, that game is motivating. It's something they want to play. And, they, and, and at first, and you know, you, all coaches know this, they're like wild animals all running all over the place. Then, and they don't know what the hell they're doing, but if they got a ton of passion for it, and they're going to be good. And we, it's our job to find out what they do well and, and do it right. And uh, I really believe that it, they love the game. They love playing. They love the sport. And I think also what motivates kids, and I've seen within our program and some of the groups I've had, and not, you know, two years ago we didn't win a game. So, and, that, and I can tell you, I learned a lot from that because those kids didn't buy into each other and they showed how not to do it. And I feel I'm to blame there because I'm the head coach, you know, I mean, I'm going to, you know, I point it there. I'm going to, you know, every time you point winger finger at somebody else, three come back at you. So we don't point fingers anymore. You know, we don't, we don't put that there. We're going to all put it on ourselves. And I really believe that um, motivation, I think kids just want to play. You know, and then all, everything else comes through. Then you, then you see the process. And you see, so interesting to see. I have a group of kids who were, uh, played for me beginning 2002, 2003. They still stay together. They talk about games. They talk about, you know, they come by and get, and get film. I got four or five kids who 
play for me are my coaches now. I mean, that's the greatest thing. They want to mm-hmm. pass that tradition on. They want to know the Lincoln way. I asked them what we should do. I asked them, what should we do? Well, coach, man, don't you remember? It's about the three Ds. It's about dedication, discipline, desire. And that's what we live at our place. And we try and sell that big time. Dedicate yourself to a situation. You have the desire to be great. And you have the discipline to do it every day. That's the three Ds, and that's what we live by in Lincoln High School. And I live by them in my life for a long time. But, you know, sometimes it was a rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good man, Coach. <laughs> nice job. Nice yeah. job. Oh.